Hey, meteorologist Pete Mangione here, and we have a chilly but dry Friday, so good for shopping, good for traveling in southern New England. We're going to actually do this sort of backwards. I'm going to start with Sunday and Monday and then backtrack to the rest of Friday and Friday night because a lot of people are already wondering about the deal for Sunday as we've been discussing the potential for some accumulating snow on the way. So let's get into that. I do think that most locations have a pretty good chance of starting with snow Sunday afternoon through Sunday evening. And uh, you can see that rain snow line already trying to creep to the north. So I think we do get some mixing to rain Sunday night into Monday morning. And for those areas that stay with snow, I think that the bulk of the accumulation, we'll talk about potential accumulations in just a second, but I think the bulk of that would occur during this time frame late Sunday into Monday morning. You can see around 3 a.m. We could still be snowing, especially points north and west of Providence, while it may be more of a rain-snow mix along the coast. And then kind of a messy Monday, rain-snow mix continues. There may be one last push of cold air moving in from the north here, which could give us a final little dose of snow Monday night to Tuesday morning. You can see that here. And then uh, Tuesday afternoon, we should be able to dry things out. So in terms of you know, how much we're expecting. A little too early to do a snowfall map, but when we look at sort of the potentials here, I'd say the best chance to see significant accumulations, I'm talking six inches or greater, would be north and west of I-95. So basically north of Providence, places like Woonsocket, Cumberland, Smithfield, uh, you know, um, out into Woonsocket, we could definitely see some of the higher accumulations. Now, this is early in the game. Much could change. I'm not guaranteeing that those locations get six inches or more. I'm just sort of laying out the possibilities right now. And even though Providence and down to the south coast, even though you have a lower chance of seeing six inches or more, the chance is still there. So we definitely need to watch this carefully as we go into the next couple days. And eventually we will be posting a snowfall map, which you can get on the air and also here on WPRI.com. For the rest of the evening, temperatures slipping into the 30s. We're now back to Friday evening, for those of you with Friday evening plans. And then overnight lows, actually, I'm anticipating to be fairly cold. 24 in Providence, outside of Providence, probably upper teens to low 20s. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be posting more updates throughout the weekend.